Hello everyone, I'm here today to do a review for the Booker Long List on this year and that is uh, for the Great Circle um, by Mike Shipstead. Um, this is, is the longest book in the long list. It's about 600 pages and I read it in ebook so I cannot hold a copy but I'll put a picture here. Um, and yeah, this one follows two timelines. Um, the first timeline is of uh, Marian Graves, which is, um, it comes to be a pilot. Um, she was born in 1914, I believe. It's, it's a fictional character, but it's based on other women that have done similar things. She was born in 1914 and she fought her way through, through life to become a pilot. Um, and yeah, and then her life as a pilot. And then the second timeline is more or less present day, I think it's 2014. And we follow this girl, Harley, who is a, an actress. And uh, she has done some uh, very um, famous famous adaptations of some books. Um, I think in, a, in an interview the author said that she was inspired by Twilight. So think about Christian Stewart, some, someone like that. Um, and she's hired later in her life to play Marian Graves in a movie, in an adaptation of a book written about her. Um, so yeah, that's the basic premise of the book. Um, but there's a lot of layers into into this book as well. Uh, because the there are certain parallels between the lives of these two people. Um, like the origin story of them and the their fight against societal rules and societal expectations of them. Um, but it, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Um, it's, it's more of a... There are some similarities in their lives. Um, I think the idea also of the title Great Circle is sort of how these kind of uh, things kind of repeat themselves, but um, to me it felt like it was not exact circles. Um, it was more of a, I don't know if you have ever seen a Foucault pen, pendulum, but it's like it makes circles and they're kind of shifted from each other. It's, it was more like that. So um, in the case of Marion Graves, she, um, she becomes a very focused person from early on into becoming a pilot and building her life on that. And of course, her life is a little bit more hard because she also lived through Second World War and things like that. Um, whereas Harley had an easier life and she's her her life is a little bit more messy than, than Marian's. And even though some of the conversations she fights through are similar, they're not quite the same for me, I think. Um, but yeah, that's the premise of the book. So my opinion is a bit conflicted for this book. Um, I did like really some some things and uh, some of them I struggled through. Um, overall, I think it's a good book, but um, yeah, the structure didn't quite work for me. The I, I was just looking to the Marian Grace um, parts of it. I like that storyline much more. The the actress, I, I know how it, I, I realize how it adds layers to the story and I appreciate that. But yeah, still, uh, when I was reading through, I did not enjoy those parts as much. And also at the beginning, we have the story of the parents of both of them, which is the most parallel part of, of the whole story. Um, and there is a lot of names in this book. There is a lot of characters. Um, a lot of them are introduced in the first 50 pages or so, and then they're not mentioned again until really, really la later on. And in that sense, I felt like that was a bit... Um, I didn't have the space to remember those names. I didn't know why those were there. And I struggled through those first 50 pages just because I didn't know where it was going. There were several points in the novel where I was not sure where this was going. And I did feel a bit unsure of of the book also. And, and I struggled my th way through some of those sections. I'm not sure if it, if this book had to be this long. 
Um, but at the same time, having conversations after finishing it and realizing the connections of the different things and the layers, it is a very complex sleep plot and a very there are more there's more to it than you can just see on a on a simple read. So I did appreciate that, and I think this is one of those books that will benefit from a reread, so that you catch up on on the different plot lines and the different connections that you miss on the first part, on the first time that you read it. But I don't know if I can reread this again, I, I because I struggled through some parts. So and it's six hundred pages. So even though I think it will benefit from a reread, I'm not sure I'm ready to reread it. And if I don't read now, I will forget the details. So it's 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 a bit of a paradox there. Um, so that's why my feelings are a little bit conflicted on it. Also, the writing was solid. I thought there were some really smart moments in some places, especially on the commentary of the social issues of the time. There is a big point made that Marian doesn't want to have kids and doesn't want to be tied to a, a man necessarily. Um, and that women are more than just ways to have children. Um, and I really, really appreciated that that conversation because it it goes quite deep into that conversation of of gender, of uh, gender roles, of um, yeah queer characters. That goes quite deep, and I think that was really, really well done. Um, but yeah, the writing itself was fine. Um, the sentence structure and so on. there were some moments, especially when discussing that, that were really smart and quotable. But overall, it was just fine. So there was nothing in the writing that that shocked me really that much. So then, so if you put everything together, I know this, I'm a bit of a, ever over the place with this review. But if you put everything together, I really appreciate the layering and the social commentary of the book, and I think that was really really strong. Um, and it's really complex, and you can see how much work has gone into this novel. At the same time, when I was reading it, I was struggling in, in parts to get through the book and I was struggling to remember everything that I was supposed to remember and I was I was quite underwhelmed at points as well. So yeah, I don't know how to balance that. Um, I think it's a good book. I think that I might read it at some point in my life uh, just to see if I can catch more of the layering of it. I actually, when I finished it, then I, I was having a conversation with Sim and Katie Books and after that I had to reread the last chapter or so to get some of these things out of my head. Um, so obviously it has an impact, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, if the structure and the way that it was written worked to make that complexity of the book shine. Um, I, I feel that maybe if it was written in a slightly different way, we could have appreciated that complexity more. So I, I don't know how, I don't know what was missing, I don't know why I felt that way, but I think that there's some something missing there. I think there should be something that facilitates the reader's experience and the readers making those connections that they are clearly there in the book, but they are so obscure sometimes that um, it's not always easy to, to make those connections. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's my general opinion of it. I'm not sure if, uh, if it, this makes any sense to anyone that has not read the book. Um, but overall, yeah, it was, I mean, if, if you just take it at the surface level, it was a great story about a woman aviator um, that, yeah, faced a lot of difficulties because of gender roles and she went through them and that was cool. But yeah, it's more, much more than that as well. Um, but I, I don't think that is, is so prominent that that will come out easily to everybody. I think it, it would be a really great book club pick because I think that 
I'm picking all of those layers. I think every person in a book club will, will catch up on different things and then you can put everything laid down and really make all those connections much easier if you if you read it in a book club. So if you have a book club, maybe this is a good pick. Um, but yeah, overall I liked it, but I think there was something that could have been done better, um, if, if that makes sense. Um, do I think it's going to be in the shortlist? I don't know. I haven't read much of the long list yet, so I cannot see how this compares to other books. Um, I think it could, but uh, I also could see how it doesn't make it. So yeah, I think it, it, I have to wait judgment on that based on the other books. Um, but yeah, overall I think it was a good read. I'm glad I read it. Um, and yeah, those, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know if you have read it, what you think about it. And if you have not read it, what what you think, um, if you're going to read it, or if this was any help. Um, and yeah, until next video, bye!